would say though that there are certain like wave dashes and angles you cannot get on a yeah on you a, lose on a, access to certain Firefox. Yeah, so making the one to one comparison is very difficult. Yeah, DI itself is a lot more difficult as well. I just think it's fascinating. Yeah, I like I like watching people argue and then not actually knowing anything. Mm -hmm. Which is why I just tend to keep it to. Uh, you know, okay. We're you got gonna, your gripes? Yeah, That's it. I've got my gripes, and I know it, I know what I do know, mm -hmm. and then I'm not going to talk about what I don't. Uh, uh, I hate I hate that they're playing blue and less slightly less yeah. blue chic. Going to go ahead and make a quick assumption here about the character of one of these players. I'm going to go ahead and say that Nya is Hamiojo, and it's, yeah. uh, it's Bungo, not Bunk. Uh, Mads. No, you're good. Yeah. Bunk go. Bunk go. Yeah, but... uh. Definitely went to, so some of us went to the end zone bar, um, which is like a bit of like a, a three minute drive up Parker. And it is much cleaner, much nicer. And they have $1 sliders on um, Mondays. I might go after It's this. cracked. Uh, that place rules. Yeah. Uh, the beer is huge. The staff is nice. And the patrons are normal people instead of the absolute freaks of nature that uh, house themselves in the Plano Sports Tavern. Yeah, but this is horrible. Yeah. Uh, I heard they were playing Kids Next Door at that bar. They were playing Kids That's Next Door on so one of the TVs, dope. and I was like, yeah, this rules. They are playing Kids Next Doors, and then it, at some point in the night, it changed over to Boomerang, and I was like, yeah, we should just come here all the time. They also don't have a, a, a Blue Lives Matter flag up. But, uh, Dopeness. Yeah. Yeah, I've been uh, I've been on an old school Cartoon Network train lately. Uh, yeah. Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy holds up. Oh, yeah, it's it's dope. I watched the I've been I, I rewatched the entirety of the ba Batman the animated series. Oh, the that uh, show is godlike. The the Bruce the Bruce Tim one. Yeah, with the with Mark Mar like yeah, the original Mark, Mark Hamill, Hamill Joker. Oh god, it's so good. It's literally like. I think Mark Hamill is easily the best animated Joker ever. Yeah. He's top three Jokers, I do think. Yes. I do think Keith Ledger's an incredible Joker. Obviously, uh, Joaquin Phoenix's Joker is, I, honestly, probably my favorite. I, think I, it's I need so to incredible. actually watch that. You've film. never seen it? I feel like. God, I, it's so good. I, like, held off on watching it long enough to the point where it became, like, this mimetic horror that shambles through my mind and, like, everyone just talks about having their Joker moment. Yeah. Um, and I'm like, huh, you know? I, I just haven't done it. I, I when so obviously there was all the the we live in a society memes yeah. going around when Joker came out. When oh. I first saw it, I went with Jake in the first theater we went to. Yeah. The movie starts and then literally the power goes out. That's and then someone screams and I was like, "This is it. This is where I die." This is how this. <laughs> okay, good catch there. Then um, we saw it at a different theater, but there you go. I did see uh, the new Spider-Man film. Originally. Yeah, I saw it yesterday. It was very good. It was very good, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. very fun. I don't it, it felt very pandering. There's a lot of pandering. But it was like, this is what I signed up for. This is, this is, this is what I expected. Yeah. You know. For what it was, it was perfect, honestly. Yeah. Just a nice little mashup film. Yeah, yeah for sure. For I do, sure. uh... I don't get why people are putting it over Spider-Verse, because I think that's the perfect comic book movie. I'm so excited for Spider-Verse 2. It comes out on my birthday. That's sick. Yeah, it's going to be really good. It also has Miguel O'Hara, one of my favorite Spider-Man, Spider-Man 2099. Yeah. Uh, and that's going to be dope. That is dope. That is dope. My favorite part is, like, people in the theater screaming for, like, Spider-Man characters coming back from, like, different universes. Yeah. Even though it's like, bro, literally every trailer showed these people. Yeah. These are, these are things we knew were going to happen. I went to the Alamo Draft House, and so it was a bit more constrained, and, like, there were less people in the theater. Yeah. And so it was all pretty chill. There were a few, like, whoos, you know? We went to Studio Movie Girl, which is very equivalent to Alamo Draft House, but a lot of the rooms are bigger. Yeah, the chairs, I think, are comfier, though. Yeah, they are. They have, like, the full loungers. The recliner, the reclining is nice. Yeah. Oh, no, Bungo. Farewell. <laughs> No. We were <laughs> we were mid double set with uh with Niche and Bungo, me and Blue Zaff were. Mm -hmm. And game two they like they kinda worked us a little bit. And then yeah. we we pulled it back in one game three. But during game two I just start hearing and I'm sitting on the outside, Chris is on the inside, and then Bungo's on the inside on the other side. And I just start hearing <laughs> He's back. Do we know if Bungo is like back back now? Uh, I don't know what the status is. Because um, he graduated, I mean, ooh. theoretically. 
I don't know yeah. if he has, like, has a job somewhere else. Who knows? Yeah, I mean, man's, man's be making maps. Um, <laughs> it I, does. Yeah, I, Everybody I, needs maps. Yeah, I, I imagine you can work just... No, dude, again, the same scenario. Oh, 